So most successful and long-term relationships require give and take, and that's healthy. But what happens when we start to lose ourselves as a result of that give and take? Well, what happens when it's hard to determine who is the me in the we? Well, today we have Dr. Michael Walker to provide some insights into keeping your individuality or refining your individuality as a partner. Dr. Walker, really important topic right now. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. So how can we lose our individuality in relationships? I mean, well, we know how relationships start off, right? When you find a partner and you start to really like them, you want to hang out and spend most of your time with them. And so you get closer and closer and you start to do a lot of things together. And as you start to do more and more things together, sometimes that pattern can create that you forget about the things that you enjoy as an individual. And so some of those things may start to slip away and you're only focused on how you show up in that relationship with that person. Mm -hmm. Why does this matter so much? Well, you know, it, it really matters because as as we know is that when I know who I am, I am better to I'm better equipped to handle the the give and take, the ups and downs, the many ties that come, ties of emotion that comes when you're in a relationship. And so it's really important for me to know who I am so that I can center myself to be able to handle those uh, conversations uh, that we may have when we're when we're together mm. as partners. Mm. Uh, okay. The other piece of why it's important. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead, finish. I would say the other reason why I say it's important is, you know, the research shows that if I can find my individuality in a relationship, it makes me happier and more optimistic mm. in the future. And so it's really important to keep that as part of uh, your, your relationship. So I was going to say, so what happens? You, you realize, uh oh, I'm starting to lose a little bit of my identity and lose myself. Now you want to broach the conversation with your partner, but you're worried about hurting your partner's feelings. How do you do that? I mean, you're kind of treading on thin ice here, it feels like a little bit. You can be right. And, and that's why, you know, when you talk about things, it's communication is really the key to all of this. Right. How do you create opportunities and space for you to be able to communicate your desires, your needs and your wants with your partner? Now, if your partner comes to you with this information, you also have to be receptive of it. And you can't try to, you know, put blame on anyone, specifically not yourself. Uh, don't dismiss their feelings and, you know, assume that it's your fault. Really, we have to not take it personal uh, that they're coming with this information, but take it as they felt comfortable enough to be their true authentic selves to bring that information to me and that's the sense of a strong relation healthy relationship right there because we know that when I can be my authentic self I'm going to be much more happy and much more engaged in that relationship and in that space and so being able to share that is really important I, and I wonder what are some concrete steps that you can do you said communicate is one which is really important but should you go out and do things on your own like say you like knitting should you go out and do a knitting class and your partner likes dancing and they should go do a dance class yeah, for sure, right? That's the part of trying to find the me and the we, right? You know that there were things that you enjoyed when you were growing up or when you were in college and before you met your partner. If you start to see those things slip away, then you may want to get reengaged in those things. You know, for me, uh, I really enjoy, you know, sports. So I like to go watch sports games, whether it's high school basketball or it's uh, professional football, right? I love to watch sports and my wife is aware of that. I'm also aware that she loves to travel and that's not necessarily my cup of tea, um, but I allow her that space to go out and travel with her friends and so you have to be able to again have that give and take so they can find their individuality so that they don't feel stuck and, and, and in a box right uh, because again when we do that we charge to take away from that relation that relationship that we have that we want to uh, prosper hmm. good advice to start the new year I, I, I like this advice to start the new year dr. Walker as always we appreciate your time and your insight